at 12 o'clock, we got the Saints traveling to Carolina to play the Panthers. And uh, Saints were one of the most surprising teams last week. I don't know if anyone else thought that. I thought they were going to beat the Packers. I genuinely did. I, I, I said it in my prediction video. I thought the Saints were going to beat the Packers. I did not expect them to beat them by 35 points. That was not something that was on my radar. I think if you said to me that one of the teams was going to lose by 35 points, I would have been like, dang it, Saints. I didn't want to lose by 35 this week. We, some, uh, I think we played possibly the best game I've ever seen the Saints play. It was almost perfect. Uh, we picked off Aaron Rodgers twice. We forced a fumble. Uh, it was it was amazing. Uh, the problems I had heading into the game was I, was I was a lot worried about corner. Right, That was the big issue for me. I was like, we got Marshawn, but who else? Paulson and Adebo went one-on-one -on -one a lot, and he won the majority of the time. The, he looked really good. The rookie looked amazing. I, I was really impressed with him. He got an interception in this game. Uh, he, he looked awesome. I don't know how else to say that. He The Stanford product looked amazing in this game. Uh, Desmond Trufant was good. He was solid on that side of the ball. The other issue I had was I was a little bit worried about wide receiver. I knew we had Marquez Calloway, um, but outside of that, I was a little bit worried about our depth. I knew Deontay Harris was going to be an explosive deep threat, which he showed in the game getting the long ball to by Jameis. Um, but... Marcos Calloway didn't even do that much, and we still had a very productive offense. Juwan Johnson ended up scoring two touchdowns, the converted wide receiver to tight end, and he looks like he's going to be a huge part of this offense moving forward. Uh, Deontay Harris obviously caught a touchdown pass. Chris Hogan caught a touchdown pass, and he looks like he's going to be kind of that the, the Michael Thomas-like player until Michael Thomas can come back. Uh, Ty Montgomery caught a couple of passes. Like, it wasn't, like, a great offensive production by anyone except for, like, Alvin Kamara and Tony Jones Jr. also had a great day on the ground. Um, but Jameis Winston was able to spread the ball out so effectively to all these different players that it, it worked amazingly. The, I was a little bit un, annoyed with my Saints for not using Lil Jordan Humphrey more. The man's my favorite, one of my favorite Saints players, and he didn't even get a single target last week. Um, but the Saints have, were really good week one. Then you go to the Panthers side of things, and they did end up beating the Jets 19-14. Um, but you beat the Jets 19-14. It, it was not a great win. It wasn't a dominant win by the Panthers. A team had a Zach, weird score. Yeah, Zach Wilson tried to almost came back and won it for this team for the Jets, and it's like, eh, it, it was not a good game by played by the Panthers in my opinion. They went into the red zone multiple times and had to f settle for field goals a good amount of times, and it was just it was a disappointing game in my opinion. If I was a Panthers fan, I'm not a Panthers fan though, so I'm rooting against the Panthers. Uh, so what do you think, Saints or Panthers? Saints. I think the Saints as well. I think the Saints are going to prove that they're an underrated team to start the year. Let's go Saints.